So today's video is a little bit special. So one day Husqvarna messaged me on Instagram to my surprise and they said to me, do you mind if we can get your number and give you a ring for a chat? So I was like, yeah, why not? So they asked me if I wanted to go try some new Husqvarna's and I was like, yeah, why not? Where is it? Portugal. We're going to Portugal. So they said, get yourself to the airport, grab a flight, Get yourself to a fancy hotel. Oh yeah, one more thing. You rhyme with Graham Jarvis. Oh, I guess I'll have this one then. Nice. And we're off. Ah, there's Graham. So yeah, we're out on a casual trail ride with Graham Jarvis and uh, brand new retro Husqvarna's. So this, <laughs> this should be a good day. So we're riding from like half eight in the morning till about five o'clock this afternoon with a stop for lunch. Uh, I'll try and capture everything pretty much. So this might be a long video. I'm riding with very good people, by the way. So, you know, I fit right in. Obviously, we're gonna see lots of uh, Jarvis wheelies today and I'm sure I can show him a thing or two. But they've actually put mooses in the tires for us which is absolutely epic. The word on the street is these trails are ridiculously good so let's see what Portugal has to offer. Oh, there's hidden roots everywhere. Uh, you know, once you get a new bike, you just can't go back. New bike feel is absolutely everything. So this morning, I'm riding the 300 two-stroke. And this afternoon, I'll be on the 350 or 450, I think maybe the 450, the new one, 2023 model. Um, so, yeah, so you get a bit of two-stroke and four-stroke in this video. What more can you want? I made that look harder than it was. Graham! <laughs> Thought you were going to make that look a bit smoother there, Graham. <laughs> Oh, that is it, is it? <laughs> Have we got any spanners between us or not? I'm a spanner. Nice. I like all this red dirt. I don't know why, but I like it. It's pretty cool going to ride the brand new Husky. I like the retro edition. I know I always say the Huskies are the chainsaws, but I mean, uh, there's some backpedaling going on. A lot of backpedaling. I take back everything I said. Okay, now it feels like I'm in Vietnam. So we had a little stop and I slowly made my way to the back of the pack. It's gonna be very dusty today. I, I think I need to wipe my lens a lot. Got a lot, a lot of riding, a lot, a lot of dust. Jeez, that's, uh, that's dangerous. I love riding other countries. It's nice to travel, to ride different terrain. I'm starting to like it a lot. Especially that smell of shit. Look at him. All right, Trist, there's people behind, you know? That's Tristan, by the way, Vision Media. Yeah, yeah, loves, loves a little roost. So I've got Graham in front of me now. I'm not joking, right, the GoPro's playing up. So I was going up this hill, I was trying to press record, press record, because he was, just going up it ridiculous and uh, I missed the perfect shot I've ever would have gotten in my life he was literally going past a goat there was a goat on the side of the road obviously the goat and the goat it would it, you know what I mean I, I just messed up stupid GoPro it's a shame with all the mist creeping in it's meant to go in a bit so hopefully we'll get some better first because the views I can tell behind the mist is going to be insane. It's literally like riding a jungle. 
So uh, Portugal has got a big thumbs up from me. Love it. Oh, I don't like ruts. But I'm in one. Oh, I'm in a big one. I'll tell you, the bike feels nice. The brakes could do with adjusting. But the bike itself, lovely, smooth. Power's nice and easy to control. When Marvis met Jarvis. Ow! Nothing changes. Still got trees in the face. Graham sits down everywhere, you know? Like he stands up on really technical bits, but he he does sit down quite a lot on the trail. So I'm, to, I'm just gonna follow him and just do what he does. Probably not gonna take the same lines. Although I'm taking the same line. If you follow Graham, there's gonna be a huge rock face that you're gonna have to get up. But he's just so smooth on the clutch. So smooth, I can't see. See, sitting down. Me, nearly dying everywhere. Oh, why have I gone in his line? Idiot. Go on the main line. Can't see, you know? That sun is bright. Oh, I need to change goggles. I bought tents. I don't know why I'm talking. But anyway, I think now's probably a good time to say, if you're not subscribed, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Hit the subscribe button. Whoa, I like it. It just makes me feel better about myself. Okay, brilliant. I'm struggling. God, I talk some shit. That's a pretty sight, that is. Easy work. Easy work. Easy. Look at these, though. Some funky trails. Amazing. I bet Graham would go up this, like, easy. It'd be like a highway. Wow. These are awesome. This really tests your skill level. It's obviously with the Jarvis signature tools. They cater for all skill levels. They asked me if I wanted to come out here and uh, do some hard stuff. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? You know, my skill level is ridiculous. And uh, yeah, they called me out on it. <laughs> uh, uh, love it. So much concentration though. There's a lot. It's uh, bad. <laughs> There's so many huge drop-offs here. Probably looks nothing on GoPro. But they're big. Okay, I messed up there. Oh, messing up here. There's big drops. What am I doing? Why am I here? Oh, we're still going down. Okay. Oh my God, what is this? Oh. What is this? Oh my god! Oh, that's vertical! Oh, you, you just don't have a chance to second think it. <laughs> this is an eye opener, boys. <gasps> oh my god, that was a big breath! Okay, they come out of nowhere. This is a joke. Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to see what's around that corner. <laughs> oh, we got to go there and it's going to, apparently, it's not easy. You've got to position your bike. I'm, uh, I'm scared what's around that corner. Yeah, yeah, see that looks, uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be bad. It's going to be very bad. Okay, wish me luck. I was so close then. Yeah, maybe. What the fuck, maybe not. <laughs> oh, that hurt. 
the tit again. Oh, 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 that really hurt. Oh my God. I've never been in so much pain in my tits before. Okay. It's like Graham's teaching, is he? Yeah. Great, now i got some eyes on me. Jarvis watching me. Maybe I'll show him a thing or two. Here we go. Oh, oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, tired. Oh, that was hard. Anyone else want to go first? Oh, that was steep. <laughs> I think that's the steepest hill climb I've ever done in a... Like, I know it was a long, but Jesus. Just chilling out in Portugal with the goat himself, loving life. Uh, no pressure, just a photo shoot. Jumping over stupid rock. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> Look at this for a welcome. Oh, we ride up steps, do we? Okay, we get to ride round a pool. That's pretty cool. What's up? This is nice, isn't it? Look at that. Can we jump in? Because I am absolutely boiling. So this is the switch over point where we have lunch and grab the 450s. Whew, that's Gavana. Oh, a little bit. Sure. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Let me get your levers done for you. That's Gavana looking after me. We're on the 450 now, boys. Oh, let's go mental. Well, goodbye, lovely villa. Oh. She's powerful. Now the two strokers are off. We swapped bikes. They're off to do kind of the trails we did. And now we're going to go do the trails that they did. So hopefully not as extreme, because I don't want this falling on me. It already feels powerful. 450. Let's go, boys. <laughs> All right, let's have some fun on the 450 then. Should be wheeling everywhere. Oh, this, this feels like an absolute animal in between my legs. No pun intended. Wow, it's so weird. Oh, the suspension's stiff. You can feel, like, it doesn't feel as heavy when you're riding it, but it also feels way heavier than the 300. Let's not, let's not do anything extreme. <laughs> They're terrible, but it's still longer than I can do on my 300. Nice, nice 
nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. I can wheelie. Well, this isn't where you bring a 450, is it? I suppose there's not many options around here other than rocks. Where do you want to ride? I don't know. What have we got? Oh, rocks. This is epic. Epic, epic. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Whoa. Hang on, I missed the turn now, haven't I? That was stupid. Finding it a little bit hard to see, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh. Brakes are all right on this. I mean, I'd, I'd pick the 300 over the 450, but I'm also really surprised at how well the 450 tracks actually points its nose, or the wheel, way better than the 300, I think. It is difficult on the slow stuff, but it's such a big weight. That's all right, clutch is uh, quite light. I wasn't filming a minute ago, but we just did the stupidest, rockiest hill climb ever on a 450 and it actually performed really well. I wish I could have shown you, but I wasn't recording. I'm sorry. Wow. Yep. I'll sleep. Oh wow! Steep in it. Second. <laughs> well, that bike handles it like a dream. That was nice. There's a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. It's not a bad bike though, is it? I am enjoying it. I did a wheelie on the road. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Momentum, you say. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, vertical drops, yay! Oh, more drops, yay! Well, that's a big rock. <sighs> I must say, I absolutely love this bike. I fall in love, ladies and gentlemen. I have fallen in love. Graham! That was good. Part of the Husky gang. So now after an amazing ride, we've got to leave this beautiful hotel. Got to get back on the plane. Get back to the car. And then I got to drive the car. And then I make it back home to bed. Just want to say a huge shout out to Husqvarna for inviting me to this epic event and Graham. And also if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.